What up? It's Kathy. So, um, my name at football is coming on tonight. So, I guess consider this my little preview, but okay, so the Cowboys are playing the Lions, and with everything happening Christmas Eve from Mariota, Mariota, uh, potato, potato, to Derek Carr, to Tyler Lockett, um, you know, I've done video posts very recently about sitting players out and how I think that they should still be playing uh, because, you know, especially with the Cowboys, I've been specific about just because you have two rookie players that have two of the most prominent positions. I mean, you, you know, obviously you've got center left tackle, but I mean the most marquee players. And they're both rookies, and I think that it would, I had thought at the time, and, you know, frankly, uh, presently that they should both be playing the final two games out just because you know they may be rusty or you know just don't fix don't fix what's not broken right oh but, but after seeing three of the injuries that occurred and that's not even counting all of the injuries we're just talking about <laughs> the tibia and fibula breaks of those three that are uh, in all quarterbacks they're all significant I'm sorry not all quarterbacks I'm uh, minus uh, Tyler Lockett um but very significant injuries um Seattle in the playoffs uh the Titans not weren't sure uh the Raiders were in the playoffs so the question out there is you know should should they have been playing and honestly, there's no real way to tell if somebody's going to get injured. You just don't know that. So everything that happened was purely unknown to everybody and by chance. So <coughs> I guess I start this off by, by saying, you know, obviously it makes me think about if Dak Prescott should or, or um, Stafford should sit out um, for the final two games of the regular season uh, be, it, because of everything that, that's transpired, but it only has me thinking about it. I don't actually, actually think that they should be sitting out entire games. What I do think should happen, though, is I've kind of pulled back and come into this compromising position about where I think what, what I think should happen, which is maybe Dak can start these games off and maybe Tony Romo can finish them off because that way... <laughs> Excuse me. I mean, we know that way. Dak has and still gets his his minutes in. He still has to prep for the game. Still goes to practice. Uh, has some really good series. Gets to play a whole half, and then Tony Romo gets to come on and you know wipe some uh, uh, dust off, get some rust off, just in case if something happens to Dak Prescott, he won't be so rusty, right? Because he technically hasn't played in almost two years. So, I think that that would be the best possible scenario for the Cowboys right now. Now, as it relates to the Lions, you know, Matt Stafford has had that um, injury. Um, but, I think it's best for him to try and play out as much as he can. Um, you know, he injured his finger on um, December 11th, <laughs> earlier this month. Um, but he hurt the middle finger of his throwing hand uh, during the, when they played the Bears. So his stat line has gone down the last two games, but he's still, you know, he hasn't been the MVP running in the running uh, that we've seen over the past two weeks. But frankly, neither has Dak Prescott. But that doesn't mean that you still shouldn't be starting. I mean, honestly, they're probably going to start Stafford if he's available. So... Uh, it's different for the Cowboys because, you know, with the three injuries, those three injuries that I, I referenced, if something, God forbid, if something were to happen to Dak Prescott, they're in the best possible position of any team in the league. I mean, if you get injured, you got Tony Romo that can go in and just handle things. Guy's been starting for 12 years. I mean, it's just another day at the office for him. And, you know, with an abbreviated season for him, you know, the chances are less and less that he's going to get injured, uh, you know, obviously by the less games you play. Either way, um, I think.
think now, I think that now would be the time to play Dak Prescott half games instead of whole games. Not for preserve preservation or anything like that. I think it's specifically because he gets in his minutes, he gets to still prep for the games, uh, and then and then Tony Romo gets to dust a little bit of you know rust off. And then, um, you know, because a couple weeks ago when they lost to the Giants, they were like, oh, we should probably bench him now. You know, there's a lot of stories about possibly benching Dak Prescott. And now just now, two weeks out, it sounds ridiculous. Um, but going in against the Lions tonight should be a win for the Cowboys because um, Troy's ranked 31st in defense. Uh, the Cowboys, as of late, have been playing um, a lot a lot better on defense, I should say, but it's been overshadowed, obviously, by the Cowboys' offense. But I've been kind of, um, in the latter part of the season, been kind of on the Cowboys' defense because they haven't been uh, on on the same level as the offense. But now, they're starting to um, come back up as far as, as uh, their quality as compared to the offense. And then the Lions also in the red zone are, are, are having trouble. They can't seem <laughs> they're having a trouble. They've been having trouble all season long converting in the red zone. They only score a touchdown half the time, about 51% of the time in the red zone. So that's an issue. And if they're going to go far, if they want to go far in the playoffs, then they're going to need to fix that problem quickly, quickly, quickly. And they need to recognize that that, that is a problem. I'm sure they do. But – you know, if, if they're going to be facing the Cowboys in a few weeks, I mean, this game right here is contingent, is very contingent on um, the Lions' play. And if they – you know, they, they could not make it to the playoffs if they lose. Um, the Cowboys don't have anything to lose this game. They've already claimed the NFC East title, and they are um, going to – they have home field advantage during the playoffs. So they have – absolutely nothing to play for but they have everything to lose so to speak um and i and by that i mean by the quarterback injuries um so they could be sitting on the sideline come the second half or not playing as many series they meaning Dak and Zeke. just saying um they're in the perfect position to do that anyway um like i said i think the lions are going to end up taking this one out but it, it would have to take, it would have to take a, uh, the Lions sort of not playing like the Norm. I mean, they're nine and five, and they still have a chance of not making the playoffs. So that's crazy in itself. But that just goes to show that the transfer of power has moved over from the AFC to the NFC for the most part, give or take a few teams in the AFC. Um, so that's my take on it. I think that the Cowboys are going to win it out tonight. Um, but maybe, maybe, maybe just have Dak play the first half, maybe a little bit of the third quarter, and then have Tony go in and um, do what you want with Zeke, Matt Stafford. They're going to play him. They're just, they will. If he's available, they're going to play him. They, they don't have the same luxuries that the Cowboys do. So anyway, let me know what you think about the outcome of tonight. Uh, and if I, if, if, you know, if Dak should sit out kind of the second half or, or midway through the third quarter or the last, uh, these last two games, let me know in the comments at YouTube at KP Sports Chick, or you can go to kpsportschick.com as well and leave comments on uh, this video uh, there as well or on my social media.